What's going on, you beauties? It's Dustin Newey here. We're doing a quick NHL 15 teaser trailer breakdown. Uh, let's go! <laughs> it's actually, it's. I told you it would be a teaser. Alright, so first thing we notice, look at all the detail. Oh my god, you can see like the water slash ice on the bench kind of thing. It's pretty, pretty sick. Um, it looks like we got more detailed sticks. We got even the little, uh, the, the symbol on the side of the puck is there. You got your, uh, your Gatorade thing there, your or Gatorade container. Um, also the first thing you notice is we have a new commentary team. So there is an article. I'll put that in the description as well. There's a couple new things. Um, the first thing to note, new commentary team. So, uh, NHL 15 welcomes the NBC sports commentary team of Mike, Mike Doc Emmerich and Eddie Olzik to the broadcast booth. Holy shit. That's awesome. Um, TSN analyst Ray Ferrar will provide game insights at ice level combined with real life broadcast integration that will feature real world pregame video commentary with Doc and Eddie set against in game visuals NHL 15 takes a revolutionary step forward in sports video games that's pretty sweet so to go with that um, you saw my mouse there sorry about that um, to go with that <laughs> we have NBC Sports game day presentation so it says the most realistic broadcast package in a video game today is possible because of the new partnership with NBC Sports. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be like an actual uh, live game uh, thing going on here, which is pretty sweet. So let's keep going here. Holy crap. Sorry, I had to talk there for a second. All right. So, I mean, we've seen, we've kind of seen um, like the ice stuff before you know it's not nothing new i mean obviously it's going to be a lot more i guess in depth um so you see there's ice there you got the skating uh, marks it looks it looks solid i mean it looks like real ice obviously um past games have had kind of like that but it'd be nice if it actually progressed like it it hasn't before you know um i mean they they said new physics and such so not too bad I like how they threw that little uh, EA Sports <laughs> NHL in there. Like it, thumbs it up. Um, so the goal, the Nets. It looks like they've added the camera. I've never seen the camera before, and the water bottle thing on the back. Um, so sadly, we're not gonna be able to shoot the water bottles off anymore, which sucks. Um, the Nets look pretty decent, I guess. Here, let's just back up a little bit. Yeah, they look all right. I mean, they got the camera. I don't. Know, what is that? Th I'm not even sure what that thing is at the bottom. It's probably part of the camera, but. Um, yeah, there's there's new um, here. I'll just quickly touch on some other stuff quickly. Uh, so yeah, basically there is uh, new puck physics. So hopefully we don't have that stupid uh, off the post and out uh, crud that we had before. You know, and where you we would uh, like score, but it wouldn't actually go in the net. Um, yeah, it says completely rebuilt puck physics result in a more realistic feel to every puck interaction. Everything on the ice, including the ice surface itself, is live, which leads to the unprecedented, uh, unpredictable and authentic puck spins, rolls, and bounces seen in a real NHL game. So hopefully we don't see that stupid puck bounce off the boards and go 12 feet in the air. <laughs> Jeez. Um, this is actually probably, out of anything, uh, we've had a lot of kind of visuals of the ice surface which i mean it looks good but it doesn't look that much different than before this kind of this kind of impresses me the way the the stands look um i don't really know my nhl arenas that much so uh, i'm assuming it well i don't even know which arena this would be actually but um it looks good it looks really good so um the only thing I would think is most NHL arenas have folding seats. Maybe they just brought them out just for the the teaser trailer. I'm not sure, but mo most NHL arenas do have folding seats that I know of. So that not the fact that they're not folding is not a really big deal. But um, you could, like there's cracks in the freaking stairways and stuff. Um, it looks it looks like an actual arena stands. It's pretty sweet. When you are playing in the driveway. All right, so one of the new features, holy crapola, um, it's uh, more uh, authentic arenas. So this is Rogers Arena, obviously. It looks pretty good. The only thing I can highlight out of this is if you, I'm not sure what the, like I've never been to Rogers Arena, but uh, if you look at like in between the stairways, or like the, sorry, the in between the seating, there's some kind of weird texture on the ground. I don't know what that's about. Um, maybe it's just, 
I mean, it's still probably early rendering. The lighting looks phenomenal. Um, you can see like the lighting actually coming through like the air, which is really sick. Um, I mean, the ice surface itself looks good. The jumbotron looks good. Uh, so uh, to go with authentic arenas that they've uh, put in the article. Uh, so the power of the next gen, te ugh, next gen technology consoles. Finally, that was the NHL franchise to capture every detail of an NHL arena. Unique arena elements with nine, uh, 19,000 plus seat capacities to lighting and player entrance tunnels are captured uh, with a, a level of detail not possible on the previous gen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this, I've never been to Rogers Arena, but it does look really solid. You got that LED uh, lighting uh, ring around the outside. You got the banners and whatever. I mean, even in the top, in the very top uh, right there, you can see it looks like some kind of, I like I said, I've never been there, but it looks like some kind of flag, which is pretty cool. Street hockey in the summertime. It's always game seven. Stanley Cup. Game seven. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so you had me at Detroit Red Wings. Um, <laughs> look at the textures. Here, let's go back to his uh, leg there for a second. Um, I I kind of think this is almost Datsuk. I'm not entirely positive. You don't. I don't know if you hold on. Do you actually see? No. Oh, it's a Reebok. It, yeah, it could very well be Datsuk actually. Um, I think Datsuk has Reebok gloves. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm pretty. I'm pretty positive he does. Or it could be Nick Cronwell. I'm pretty sure Nick Cronwell has Reebok gloves as well. Uh, no, he wears Warrior gloves. All right, so. It's not Nick Cronwell. It's it could very well be Zetterberg as well, um, but it, I I have a feeling it looks like Datsuk kind of. Um, again, look at the shadowing. It looks like uh, off of his stick maybe. Maybe he's holding a stick. I think um, the textures just look phenomenal. You got puck marks on them. You know, um, you kind of like even here. Look at you got like the thread and the gloves. You got the the outline of the jersey actually sticks out a little bit. Um, you can see the stitching, like it's, I mean, you could, you could see that before, but this is really in depth, really in detail. And it, I mean, the one thing I noticed is that the Jersey stretched in NHL, uh, 14, even in NHL 14, right? Like the jerseys would stretch on your player when he got hit or whatever. So the fact that this Jersey is moving around on its own kind of gets me excited. Um, I don't know about you guys. I'm, I'm just a stickler for, for details. So um, I'll quickly touch on one of the big things that was highlighted. It's 12-player NHL collision physics. Um, so on-ice collisions with the new 12-player uh, collision physics utilize the power of the next-gen consoles and building off the critically acclaimed NHL collision physics system. Every player on the ice is governed by physics at all times. Feeling, feel the hard-hitting chaos of NHL hockey uh, through true-to-life secondary collisions, net scrambles, and player pileups capturing the desperation of every shift. Um, there's other stuff. There's authentic player and equipment models, unprecedented player likeness, superstar skill stick, which looks pretty cool too. Um, it doesn't really give you a ton of... It says there's going to be an arsenal of sweet deeks. Oh, maybe... I, I would personally love to see custom deeks. Um, you know, like you should be able to customize, maybe unlock different deeks and stuff. FIFA has similar systems for like celebrations and stuff. I think if they added like a ton of deeks, you can unlock them and set them in the direction you wanted. That'd be wicked awesome. But who knows? Uh, living crowds. Yeah, whatever. Who cares about crowds? <laughs> uh, vision AI. So that this is the last thing I'll just quickly look at. Um, yeah, here, I'll just go ahead a little bit here. There it is, NHL 15. You can see the particles. Anyways, Vision AI is an elevated level player, uh, level of player intelligence. Vision AI features evolved awareness with players reading and reacting to potential plays, scoring, area recognition, pass anticipation, and enhanced team breakouts all improve the flow of the game. So I was actually um, tweeting back and forth with Flopfish uh, last night before this morning, and yeah, that, this was one of the things I brought up. I said, you know what, the AI really isn't that bad. It's just their decision making process is so slow. Um, it literally takes them like three to five seconds to actually decide where they're going to do with the puck. Half the time, they make a bad play, right? So if they upgrade this, maybe add some defensive breakouts, better goaltending a little bit. I, I kind of hope for goaltending and defense, but that's just me. All right, so there it is uh, NHL 15 teaser trailer breakdown. Um, I, I was going to make a video about the, um, the news stuff that I kind of touched on, but I'm not going to, I'll just put the link in the description for you guys. Fall 2014. 
Um, I'm trying to think when I um, when I released my fake teaser. Uh, I think I put September 8th, so hopefully it's not later than that. I really would love a hockey game in September again. All right, so there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Um, again, the original link for the uh, video will be in the description if you want to just watch the trailer in full, as well as the news article. All right? Thanks for watching, guys.